Hello, welcome to our journey to Easter. Today is Monday in the first week of Lent. And today, in the first reading, we hear from the book of Leviticus, God say to us, be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. And the question is, what does it mean to be holy? You know, a lot of people, when they hear about holiness, think about going around with our hands folded, always in prayer, that somehow our heads bowed and, and we're fasting and praying and you know, doing all kinds of religious things. We're spending a lot of time in church. That's what it means to be holy. But I'm going to say the church, interestingly enough today, pairs that statement in Leviticus with a passage from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25 where we hear about the last judgment. We're given the questions in the final exam when the Lord Jesus gathers all of us together at the end. He doesn't ask us how much time we spent in church, how much time we prayed, how much fasting we did. He doesn't even ask us if we've avoided sin or did we believe in him. He asks us about feeding the hungry, and clothing the naked, and welcoming the stranger. Holiness, real holiness, is found not in doing all of those religious things, but in living a life that reaches out to share the gift of life with others in a way that helps them in their need. That's what real holiness consists of do the prayer and the fasting and all the other things that we do during Lent, do they help us? Oh, yes. Yes, they can make us more aware, more willing, more open. But in the end, real holiness is not found in how much time we spend with God, but on how much time we spend being a sign of God's love, mercy, and compassion to others. Be holy. Be holy. Be holy as the Lord Jesus taught us, by taking care of those most in need. Have a great journey to Easter.